new series. It's kind of based on the horror movie Insidious. Also, sorry, I have to use in-game characters because the ones I make delete for some reason. Except for one, so we'll use her. Let's go. Also, I know she's wearing a bathing suit, but just pretend it's like a crop top and shorts. Can we please go in this one? All right, sure, but then we have to go back home. Okay, yay. Wait for me. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm so excited. We're going up. Whoa! Whoa, that landing was a little rough. Okay, Melissa, are you ready to go? Melissa? Melissa? Melissa! She's not waking up. Melissa! Hello? A miss? Yes, how can I help you? So we went on that ride over there, and the landing was a little rough, and she's not waking up. Can you call, like, an ambulance or something? I tried everything. She won't wake up. Oh, no. Yeah, for sure. I'll call an ambulance. Is she still breathing? Yes, but she won't wake up. Okay. And we'll shut down this ride, too. I mean, uh, at least she's still conscious in the free picture. Oh, not helping? Okay, I'll go call an ambulance. I hope they get here soon. Can you also call my parents, too? Their numbers are... Yeah, for sure. The game just crashed. Just pretend the credit card thing is a phone, because I can't find one. 911. Hello? 911, what's your emergency? Two young girls went on a ride, and the ride came down really hard, and one of them won't wake up. We're at Boom Doom Theme Park. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll send someone over. Thank you so much. Okay, now it's time to call the parents. Ring, ring. Uh, hello? Hi, this is Anna from Boom Doom Theme Park. Oh, um, hi. Your daughter's, uh, Melissa and Gracelyn. Melissa and Gracelyn are here? Oh, yeah. Did they get in trouble or something? No, but what's the little one's name? Melissa. But they went on the Comet Crater, and um, the ride went a bit too hard on the way down, and Melissa is unconscious. She won't wake up. Gracelyn already tried. She's still breathing, but we have an ambulance on the way. Oh, my gosh. Uh, okay, we'll be right over. Honey, Melissa's dying! Oh, no! Ma'am, I can assure you that she's not dying. She's just unconscious. Oh, whatever. It's my little baby. We're on our way. Okay. The ambulance and your parents are on their way. Okay. Wake up. I don't think she is. What? I mean, uh, nothing. Just wait. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay. Where's Melissa? She's right here. I tried everything to wake her up. She just won't wake up. Okay. Melissa? Melissa, honey? It's mom. Can you wake up, please? Melissa! Chandler, she is not waking up. Oh, no. Give it to me. Melissa! If you wake up, we'll buy you a toy. Okay, she's definitely not faking it. Why would she be faking it? Hi, I'm Linda, the paramedic. Oh, gosh, thank gosh you're here. I'll take the little girl. Come on, everyone, follow me. Okay. Okay, upstairs we go. Okay. What the? Okay, so basically. So basically. No, what happened? She's in a coma. The impact on the landing was too much for her. What? A coma? No, this is all my fault. She wanted to go on the ride, and I was the one who took her. I should have said no. Uh, honey, it's not your fault, but what? A coma? Yeah, I'm sorry. You can go see her if you want, though. No, seriously, this is all my fault. This would have never happened if I just didn't take her on the ride. Honey, it's not your fault. It was the ride's fault. They're the one who let it operate with such an impacting landing. I guess you're right. Well, come on, let's go see her. Okay. Melissa, I'm so sorry I had to put you through that. I'm a terrible sister. No, you're not, Graceland. It wasn't you. I know, I still feel that way, though. Come on, guys, it's getting late. We should probably go back. We'll come back and see her tomorrow, though. I'm so sorry. Coming. What the? Little help. You will return to the dream. Um, what was that? And why did he say something about returning to the dream? Don't even know what that is. Graceland! Coming. I'm here. Why do you look so shocked? I, uh, uh, whatever, let's just go. What was that thing? Okay, it's really late, so let's put our pajamas on and go to bed. Okay, yeah. <sighs> I know it wasn't my fault, but it truly does feel like it. There's no way I can sleep. <sighs> oh, her bedroom's actually kind of cute. Her toys, this ladybug. Whatever, I'll try to get some sleep now. Two hours later. What the? Why is my light doing that? Turn off. That was really weird. Oh well, back to bed. What? Off. You must return. 
saving Melissa. Tomorrow night, the dream returns. What was that? Okay, let me try to process what just happened. Okay, so basically, earlier that day, that same thing came up to me and said something about the dream returning to it. And then he said something about saving Melissa, the dream returns, and then tomorrow night. What's going on? Wait, if you're talking about dreaming, I may be dreaming right now. I gotta go back to bed and find out if I'm really dreaming. The next day. Was that a weird dream? Is Melissa really okay? Melissa, I had the crit. Oh. It wasn't a dream. Still my fault. Not your fault. Melissa. Stuck in. Dream. Oh, no. It definitely wasn't a dream. It just came back. Wait a sec. It said something about me returning to the dream. Something about saving Melissa. And something about Melissa being stuck into the dream. I don't know what it is, but I think I have to go into it. Into the dream, part three. It said something about Melissa being stuck in the dream. Something about me going into the dream. I don't know what the dream is, but I think I have to go into it and save Melissa. And he also says something about tonight. So maybe it's tonight. Gray Flood! Coming! Hi. Why do you look like that? You're like stunned and confused at the same time. Oh, uh, no, I'm just practicing my face for, uh, drama. Yeah, drama class. We're doing a skit. Oh, okay. Well, basically, honey, we're gonna go see your sister today. Yay! Yay! Is she awake? No, they don't know when she's gonna wake up. They said it definitely won't be this week, though. Oh. But it's okay, we can still see her. Come on. Come on. Coming. Due to a bunch of people visiting in the other room, only one of you can go in at a time. Can I go first, please? Sure. Yay. Hey, Melissa. Okay, I know I'm talking to you, and you cannot hear me right now. Well, maybe you can't, I don't know. But are you, for some reason, trapped in something called the dream? And that's why you're in a coma, because you can't get out of it. I don't know, it's just a thing keeps appearing and saying something about the dream, you being stuck in it, and me going into it. Tonight. Oh, this is weird. What was that? This book is literally all blank. Wait, except for this page. That's Melissa's handwriting. Dear Gracelyn, please help. I don't know where I am, but I'm in some place called the dream. I can't get out on my own. I need you to help me to escape. I can only communicate through this book. And I can only communicate three times until you're inside the dream with me. Then you can communicate with me as much as you want, but you have to help me escape. What the? You can hear me right now? Yes, I can. Now stop asking questions. You're wasting up my three answers. What the? Okay, I'll I'll stop asking. I'm coming into the dream tonight, apparently. (laughs) What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I have to save Melissa. What the heck? (laughs) Oh my gosh, honey, are you okay? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I- You need to tell us what's going on. We keep walking in on you and you have some kind of traumatized or scared-looking face. No, no, I- Um, it's just because I went to Kaylee's house and we watched a horror movie and I keep thinking, like, Oh, the dude, the killer's gonna get me. Oh, (laughs) yeah. I'm gonna go see her next. Phew. I need to save her fast. Later. (sighs) Okay, guys, it's been a pretty long day. Are we ready to go home now? Yeah, I think we are. Yeah, let's go. Oh, I'm so tired. Whew. It is time. <sighs> Wake up! Huh. Oh, who are you? It is time to enter the dream to save Melissa. Okay, can you at least tell me what the dream is? Sorry, gotta go. Whoa, what the? Why am I blue? Why is everything different colors? It's actually kind of cool, but weird at the same time. We are now in the dream. I will now explain to you how the dream works. Into the dream part four. Whoa, this is crazy. Hey, Mom, Dad, are you seeing this right- Guys? (sighs) Your parents aren't here. You and Melissa are currently the only ones in this world right now. What? You have the whole city to explore. And you must find Melissa in 48 hours max. Oh. Otherwise, she'll be in a coma forever. Oh, no. And over here, you have cams to check up on the real world. Oh. Hey, wait, I'm on that camera. Just like Melissa, you still exist in the real world, but are unconscious. Oh no, so that means... Yep. Gracelyn, wake up! She's not waking up now either. Do you think it's a coma caused by stress or... I don't know, but we've tried everything. She's obviously not faking it. We gotta call the ambulance again. Oh my gosh, they're so worried about me. I kind of feel bad. Whatever, we gotta save Melissa before the time runs out. Actually, you do. I can't tell you anything. 
Good luck. Wait, what? No. Uh, I sold the whole city to explore. First, I'll check the house, I guess. Melissa. Melissa. Wait, no. I'll check the theme park. I'll go to the comic crater. The ride her coma was caused from. Let's go. Whoa, even the loading screen here is weird. We're here. Okay. Yep, no one's here. Melissa's not here either. Are you down here? Are you anywhere? Melissa, after checking the entire theme park. Yeah, she's not here. How am I going to find her in 48 hours? There's a whole city. It's okay. I can do it. <sighs> Next place. Melissa, are you here? World dude, can you tell me where Melissa is? What the? What's that? I kind of want to touch it. It looks pretty. What the? Ah! Who are you? I'm Sage. And I'm Luna. Very majestic names you have. Okay, where am I right now? Why, you're in the dream, of course. Yeah, well, I know that. How do I find my sister? I only have 48 hours, and I do not want her to be unconscious forever. Ah, uh, well, what is your name? Gracelyn. My sister's Melissa. I just need to find Melissa. Oh, Melissa. Very sweet young girl she is. You've seen her? Yes, we have. She was here yesterday. Left earlier. Went up the southern trail. Try going that way. Don't know if it'll help, but maybe. Adios. Southern Trail, okay. Hmm. That's this trail. And it goes all the way down there. Uh, where am I? <gasps> Melissa loves to make these flower crowns. And there wouldn't be one in the middle of this cave randomly. Because we're the only humans in this place. <gasps> she must be close. Melissa! Oh, she's not here. Just a bunch of clothes. Members of the dream must contribute. By wearing dream clothing articles. You may select one outfit and wear it for the rest of the dream. Weird. I'll pick this one, I guess. Into the dream part five. Also, everyone was asking me how to change the colors. All you gotta do is go on Siri. Turn on invert colors. And boom. And if you want it back, just say turn it off. Uh, it's hopeless. I'm never gonna find Melissa in this world. I guess I'll just sit down. I'm starving. I wish I had some food. Like a burger meal or something. What the? My wish came true. Mmm. Although I kind of need a drink now. Whoa. Can you wish for anything in this place? Uh, I wish for a dollar. I want a dollar. I need a dollar. I wish for more food. Okay, only food wishes can come true. Mmm. I know. I'll wish for Melissa's favorite food. And then maybe she'll see it or whatever and come to me. I wish for a strawberry shortcake. Yes. Not the most appetizing one I've seen, but it works. I'm going to find you, Melissa. It's hopeless. She's never going to come to me. I'll just eat it. Ugh, this pool water looks weird. Uh, how much time do I even have left? You got 44 hours, my guy. 44? It's been four hours already? Uh. Hey, the light's flickering. What the? What just fell out of it? Uh, I need to go grab it. Whatever, into the unsettling pool water. I got it. Get out of here. <gasps> this has Melissa's initials on it. M.H. And I recognize this ring. Her best friend gave this to her. She's definitely here. Wait, is that a note? It's a list. First it says Robo, then Large Banana Smoothie. Again, it's Melissa's handwriting. I think I'm going to put all my clues into this bag. Because maybe it'll lead up to something and I'll need them for later. Meanwhile, back in the real world. I'm sorry, but there's really no telling when they're going to wake up. What? Are, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sorry. We did the best we could, but we don't know. <gasps> My children! Both of them stuck in comas. I mean, we know that Melissa's was caused by the ride landing impact. But what about Graceland's? Hers just came out of nowhere. Are you sure it's even a coma? Yes, we're sure. The tests have determined that it's a coma, but we don't know what the cause is. She was fine one day, and the next day just wouldn't wake up. I don't understand. We're going to do some scans to see what's going on in their brain, because their brain is still very clearly active. What? Yes, it's almost like a dream is happening inside their minds, but it doesn't seem normal. What? Not normal? Oh, no. No, no, they're fine, but it's just a uh, like, new discovery thing. Okay, see you guys later. <laughs> Ugh, these doctors. We're here at Robo, or whatever it was called. Hey, dude, can I get a large banana smoothie or whatever? Right, you can't talk. Um, oh! I just have to press this and it'll make one. Cool high-tech place. Okay, let's drink it, I guess. 
Maybe it'll lead to something. Part six. Oh, ow, that hurt my throat. Whatever, let's just drink it. <coughs> this tastes weird. It does not taste like banana. Wait a second. What? I have a weird voice in my head and it's telling me to leave. Okay. Whatever that voice is, it's telling me to go here. Where am I? I'm in some random stranger's house. Hello? Alright, I'm the only one here. Why is this voice telling me to go over here? Did that drink do that to me? Ugh, it's still telling me to keep going. Why is it telling me to- <gasps> The book that I found in the hospital. It's the one I can talk to Melissa through. Yep, it still has her answers. And she has one communication thing left. Melissa, where are you? I'm inside of a barn behind the hay bales. It's two minutes away from where you are. Yes, I'm gonna find her. I don't know why I thought this was going to be so hard. And I still have like 40 hours left. I'm finally at the barn. Okay, behind the hay bales? Hello, is there hay bales in this place? <gasps> hay bales! Someone please get me out of here. I can't see anything. Melissa, you're behind there. Wait, Gracelyn, you found me? Yes. Okay, where even are we right now? Um, I just remember going on a fun ride with you and then I'm in this like blue world. We'll talk about that later. Just get out of there. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can't believe I found you. Oh god, this place is horrifying. Well, the only one's here. I don't even know how I got here. Well, basically, in real life, you're in a coma. Wait, what? This isn't we a wife? I don't know, let me just explain. She explains what happened. Yeah, so... That's what's going on. Wait, will we? But you found me, so how do we get back? I don't know, but I guess I don't need these clues anymore. They said once I find you, you go back. Why aren't we going back? You are not done. You still have 40 hours left to complete what has to be done. Finding Melissa was just step one. There is way more to the dream than that. In order to get out of here, you'll have to complete a series of challenges that will come your way in all locations. Do not mess up or you'll be stuck here forever. Bye! What the? Series of challenges? How am I going to complete that? I don't know what to do. It's okay, hey, calm down. We'll find a way out of here. I'm gonna take you to a very special place. What? Where? Come. Okay. Look. It's our house. It's all my toys and my crayons. But where's mom and dad? Guys. Guys, yeah. What? Cam was. She's checking the cameras. Why are mom and dad in the computer and not with us? Because they're not in this world with us. This isn't really, like, real, I guess. They're in the real world. And that's the real world there. See, look. That's us in the coma. What? Coma? Yeah. I don't know how we- What the? This isn't my bedroom. Where are we right now? Challenge number one. Escaping the lab. This is one of three challenges you have to complete. Locking up lab now. Oh no. What do we do? I have a new pillowcase, so every time I say the new part, you're staring at that cute mushroom. Part seven. What do we do? What do we do? Okay, calm down. Let's not panic. Let's not panic. I'm panicking. Wait, no, you said don't panic. You're right, you're right. Come on, it's fine. We can do this. It's fine. Trust me, we'll figure it out. Let's just look over here. Okay. What's this? I have no clue. You can go inside. Melissa, no, we don't know what- Melissa? Melissa? Hello? Hello? Oh, no, she's dead. I'm not dead. Oh, thank gosh. Well, get out of there. But first, I want to eat the pickle. Mmm. Are you crazy? Why did you eat just eat a lab pickle? I don't know. It was good. Whatever, it's fine. We'll get away out of this. We'll get away out of this. Calm down, Graceland. It's fine. What does that note say? An orange potion filled with shock should get the door to unlock. <gasps> Graceland! Uh, what? Look, it says an orange potion filled with shock should get the door to unlock. A potion stand. And the potions change color. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, let's just make the potion. Let's just make the potion and not panic. You're the one panicking. I know, I'm sorry. Just grab a potion thing and let's make it. Make sure that you fill it when it gets orange. Okay. I'm gonna grab this one. Move it, sis! Sorry. Let a professional do her work. You don't even know what you're doing. Shush! Yes, I do. Um... What? There's no orange on this thing. It's either pink, purple, blue, or white. Uh... Try mixing pink and white. Um, okay. Just pretend it's like a pinky orange, because I cannot get orange. Yes, I did it! I got orange! And I found an orange donut. Eat it. You just said not to eat the lab food? Well, that's just an innocent donut. You ate a pickle out of, like, an acid tank. Whatever. No, how do we shock it? I don't know. Here, sis, hold this. I'm gonna look at this control panel. Um, okay. Uh, what does this big blue button do? Hey! That's the shock we need. 
Put the potion in it. Okay. Just pretend the potion's in it because I can't put it in. Challenge completed. The door is now unlocked. Yes, we did it. Quick, now let's get out of here. Ew, I fell in some gray sludge. It's like all weird. Why am I sinking so much? Ah, I can't grab you. It's like cement. Ah, am I gonna die? Um, hello, fellas. Ah, what is that? Ugh, I'm a sloth snake. But if you don't need my help, I'll just leave. No way, please. I want to get out of this. Okay, grab onto my tail. Now. Okay. Uh, uh, <sighs> Thanks, Mr. Sloth, dude. My pleasure. See you guys later. Okay, now let's get out of here. Agreed. Challenge number two. Where are we now? The prison escape. You currently have 37 hours left and must complete two more challenges in order to get back to the real world. The last challenge was at an easy level. This one's at medium. The last one will be hard. Don't mess up. Party! The mushroom is a child. Don't mess up. Oh, we're going to mess up. It's going to be so bad. We're never going to see mom and dad again. I'm never going to see my friends again. We're never going to see the real world again. Ah! Get yourself together, woman. It's fine. <sighs> yes, fine, fine. It's fine. Now, is there anything we can use to escape? There's two cups. If only we could have some water right now and you would calm the heck down. Just wish for it. Just say I wish. Just say I wish. What? <sighs> Just say you wish. For the drink or food you want. <laughs> you need to calm down. Uh, I wish for water. Whoa, it worked. How'd you know that? No, no, just give me that. Ah, uh, calmer. I figured it out when I was trying to rescue you. I was like, I want a burger meal. I wish for like a burger meal. And then it gave it to me. Hmm, that's cool. Ugh, dream water tastes weird. Yeah, well, it looks weird too. It looks like fruit punch. Okay, well, how do we get out of this place? There's a button right out there. Quick, take one of these posters, crumple it up, and throw it at the button. Uh, okay. Quick! I'm going! Ugh, it fell behind the desk! Ugh! Of course it did. We'll never make it out of here. Ugh, yes, we will. Get up! I said get up! Hey, my flower crown. Why are you even wearing that? I don't know, they made me! Okay, jeez, saw we. Huh. What's this? Greetings from vacation. See you soon? Hmm. What does it mean, see us soon? We can't see unless we get out. Wait, what's that? Is that a hole? Graceland! Ah! No, I'm the calm person here. I'm the Graceland. Oh, um, sorry. Look, that sign says see you soon, and there's a little hole in the wall. You're right. C crawl out the tiny hole and then get me out. Uh, no. Maybe we'll just, like, punch a hole through the poster or whip it down. And then there'll be a bigger hole. Perfect. I want to run my whole body through this. Ah! ah! Oh, I was right. That was a big hole. Ow. Oh, that hurt. Did you just dent a whole pipe? Now the floor is all wet. It wasn't my fault. I jumped through the wall too hard. Whatever. Here's the door. Let's get out. Ugh. Ugh, it's too hard. Oh, there's so many tools in here. Just get a pickaxe and beat it. Uh, 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 uh. It's not working. Ooh, a hat. Mm -mm. What are you doing? And this. Boom, boom, bing. Boom, 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 bang. What the heck are you doing? <clears throat> I am a construction worker. I'm a deep voice because I'm a man. I am definitely not Graceland. Can you open this door so I can go outside and fix, uh, the thing? I'm sorry, but no one can exit. Wait, that thing talk? Ugh, yeah, I know. But there's something outside I literally need to fix. Mm-hmm, sure there is. No, but there is, though. Uh, uh, the, uh, uh... She looks through the door crack. The ladder. The ladder is fixed. She sees a dent in the window. The window's not, I need to use the ladder. Part nine. The ladder is not broken. Uh. She sees a dent in the window. But the window is. That's why I need to go up the ladder so I can fix it. Lady, just let me do my job. How are you even in the dream right now? How are you in the dream, huh? I, uh, was at my work site and then a brick fell on me and now I got a coma. My time was up for the 48 hours, so I was stuck here forever. Now I'm the dream construction worker. Why don't you understand anything? Not fine. Thank you. Just kidding. Only dream tech can prove that. Dream tech? I mean, dream tech. Uh, yeah, so get out. Yeah, well, let me get out then. I mean, just go away. Um, hold it, Whitetail. This is, uh, Andrea from dream tech. You have to let him pass. We have actually brought him into the dream to fix up some things that are messed up. He will be taken out once he fixes everything perfectly. Why can't you just let him do his job? Oh, sorry, I, uh... 
If you fail at your job, we will have to take measures and make sure you are never heard of by anyone in the dream ever again. I'm so sorry, Dream Tech. You may pass. Thank you. Thank you. I must go with him to conclude that he's doing his job well. Of course. Hmm. Now lock that back up, you hear? Yes, ma'am. Whoa. How did you know to do all that? Eh, I don't know. I just tried to sound like a proper adult. Well, you sure did. You said some words that I couldn't even understand back there. I heard it on TV and in a play that Mom and Dad took me to. Oh. Well, let's go. We have one challenge left and then we get to go back home. Yay! Oh, gosh. Where are we now? Welcome to your final location. Congratulations. You have passed the high-tech robot. But now, it's time for the hardest level. That wasn't the hardest. It took like an hour, though. Correct. That was not the hardest. This normally takes players up to 15 hours. What? It is a very difficult task. You must escape this place. That's easy. Watch me. Look, I'm literally outside. That was easy. Okay, can we go home now? Hold it right there, little girl. You can't escape that easy. You have to get down back to the ground. What do you mean? Look at your location. You are currently in the mountains. What? Melissa has walked out so easily. But now we are locking up this room. So it'll take you a while to get out. Then you must cross a path into another room, which takes a while to get out. Then you have to figure out how to get out of the mountains. Once you get to the bottom, back to the ground. You will get to go back home. Good luck, players. What was that? I don't know. But now we can't get out. Feels like an invisible wall. Don't panic. Just see what's in these lockers. What's in here? Staff uniform. No good. Bathing suits. No. Not even my size. Get out. An air horn. That's got to do something. And then just more clothes. Okay, the air horn. The more the noise, the closer you get. What? The noise can make the force field break. Make as much noise as possible, and you will get into the next room. Good luck. Okay, so we got this. And this? We need more. Part 10, different pillowcase, because I'm in a different room. We need more. This is simply not enough. Um, a radio. Let's turn it on. Perfect. Okay, that's there. And now I'll ring this, and you do that. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, you can go through. Oh my gosh, stop making that noise. Heck yeah, we can go through. Let me just take that. Ugh. Hey, wait up. What do we do now? Hello? Can we have our clue thingy? Hot baths are simply not enough. Please make more heat with lots of hot stuff. Huh. That's clearly the hottest one. But where is hot stuff? Wait a minute. Candles! Candles have fire! You're right. But wait, we don't have a match or anything to turn it on with. Let's take two sticks from these plants and rub them together. Oh, okay. Yes, two it. Just gotta repeat this. After a while. Lighting the candles took you an hour and a half. But that is still simply not enough. You have 28 hours remaining. Only 28? We're never gonna get back to the ground on time. It's fine. I think we'll get back to the real world as soon as possible. Now we gotta make it more hot. Here, right, just give me those things. I'm gonna rub them together with extreme force. Um, okay, I think you've definitely caused enough heat. Yeah, I would say so myself. Uh, yeah, you guys can go on through. Okay. But only if you put that fire out. I'll get water. <laughs> Yay, the fire's gone. Now let's go, quick! Coming. Congratulations, you now have this entire area. You must get back to Dream Central Park before your time is up. Try to convince these animals to help you. They're really hard to convince, and if you can't convince them, you're on your own. Good luck. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'll try to convince him. You can't try to convince her. Don't just assume genders. Whatever, just go. Sorry. Hey, Mr. Bell. <clears throat> Don't go anywhere. I was just wondering, could you help us, please? <clears throat> uh, I... <clears throat> ah! Okay, okay, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> please. <clears throat> uh, what if I... Oh, if I give you this amazing flower. <clears throat> Jeez. Any luck? No. Excuse me, who's in the tent? Uh, it's me, Crumpet. Oh, look, look, kid, I don't have time for this. I'm just trying to have a nice peaceful camp out. Go away. Oh, okay. Well, let's go, there's more animals over here. Excuse me, sir, can you... Uh, hello? He's too relaxed. I'll ask this little dude. Hey, man, can you... <laughs> oh, that's its mom, that's its mom, okay. Can any of you water people help us? Hello. Well, I can talk. Oh, of course I can talk. By the way, none of us will be willing to help you. And the water animals can't because they live in water. If they didn't, they would. 
Find your own way down, bub. We've helped enough people out of this place. Oh. Part 11. Oh, we're on our own. It's fine. Wait, we need that paddleboard. Why? Because we can use it to slide down the mountains to get down there faster so we can leave this place. You're right. Oh, I got it. Perfect. Let's slide down the hill now. Okay. I can't actually bring it with me, so just pretend that this is the paddleboard. Ah! We're almost there. Perfect. We're at the bottom. Let's go. We need to get to Central Park. Oh my gosh, you can see my face. We need to get to Central Park. Don't worry, we will. Uh, how do we get there exactly? I don't know. I was hoping you'd know that. Uh, uh, okay. Um, we'll just find a way. Come on, we'll ask people. There's no one else here. We're the only ones in the dream. Why don't you understand that? We'll find out. Come on. We're here. We're at the park. We did it. Yay. <laughs> um, lady, we made it. Can we go back home now? Yes, you did make it to a park. But unfortunately, this is not Central Park. The only way to get there is by water. Swim for all it takes. See you soon. Oh, not swimming. I suck at swimming. Why does she look like that? Don't worry, I'll help you. Come on, we, we're we almost there. Okay, let's go. Oh, why does all the water here look like blood? I don't know, but let's go. Okay, look, a floaty. And we can use this as the paddle. Let's go. After a bit. Ah, the floaty pop. Ah, I don't know how to swim. Don't worry, I do. Get rid of the stick, it's weighing us down. I'll hold on to you the whole time, come on. Let's go. Okay. Ugh, this is so tiring. Well, come on, we gotta get there. I think we're almost there. Attention, you are nowhere close to almost there, and you only have five hours left. Hurry up. Only five hours? Nowhere close. I gotta swim faster. It's okay. We can probably make... I think. Let's hope for the best. You have ten minutes remaining. What? It's already been five hours? I see a bit of land over there. I'll go really fast. <laughs> you have five minutes left. Ah! Look, the park is right there. Quick. Okay. There's two minutes remaining. Wait, no, we're here. <sighs> we're here, please. Let us go back. You have made it to Central Park. Congratulations. We will be sending you back to Central Park. Except, you will remember this. You cannot tell anyone about the dream or you will be sent back here again. Your parents will think you are in a coma. That's why you're going to be in hospital when you wake up. We'll see you again on the cams, you two. Goodbye. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Whoa. We're finally back to normal colors. So that Willy wasn't a dweeb. You remember that too? Yeah, of course I remember it. It was like all different colors and we had to do the challenges and we almost were stuck in there, but we swam there just in time. Yeah, I... <gasps> guys, you woke up. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we missed you guys when you were in that coma. Yeah, and we went to the dweeb and we... Remember what she said? Do you want to get stuck back in there? Oh, uh, I mean, I thought it was a dream at first. <laughs> no, you just got knocked out on a ride and just never woke up. And I don't even know what happened to Graceland, but she wouldn't wake up either. At least we're back now.